Well, good day, Tubes. How is she hanging today? Pretty good here. Just got the funeral done today, and she's just starting to spit it all a little bit. Probably won't be able to hear it, but as you can see in the bucket, a couple of spittles. We were supposed to get rain this afternoon, and I was hoping to be done before then, and I was. So that's good. Um, I just have to do a little bit of paperwork from funeral today, and uh, then we're going to head over over <laughs> there, <laughs> and um, we're going to start building that um, uh, tooth bracket or tooth attachment for that new bucket we're building. I guess we call it, I don't know if it's actually got an official name, attachable tooth bracket maybe? Something like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, while I was waiting for the funeral to come in this morning, I got all the holes um, in the bucket drawn out. I just have to drill. I was trying to do one on the drill press and it's just not going to work. Should have drilled it before I welded it on. Yeah, I know now I should have, but uh, I mean I got uh, portable drills I can drill with, I'm sure. I should be able to hopefully drill through that. And uh, then we'll have to go to the half inch. That's what I'm going to do. I think I got six holes to drill. It's probably more than I need, but I'd rather have a couple extra holes than not enough kind of thing. So there's going to be, you know, a fair bit of pull on that, a fair bit of strain. So it's going to need to be uh, secured pretty good. Um, so yeah, but uh, anyways, I'll run in and do my uh, paperwork, finish that up, and then... Um, We'll go over and start drilling. Today actually might only be drilling. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to uh, making teeth or not because the funeral was not late, but it was on and it's already 1.30 now. So, you know, she's uh, she took up a good part of the morning there for, for that. So, because I had to set it up, you know, I had to uh, finish digging it. A little bit caved in last night, so I had to finish digging and got her squared up and stuff and then uh, set up my lowering device on the hole get all that ready for them and then I think there was like five different people that stopped me this morning to talk and stuff and wanted things and stuff so I'm like okay um, maybe I can get going here <laughs> it was like 11 o'clock graveside they're going to be here and I think it was like 10 30 ish around there I was just about done setting it up so I'm like okay I made her but I usually like to have her done at like 9 so I'm well within the time frame right but uh, she didn't happen today but anyways all was good and uh, another one in I guess we'll say another resident so um, but anyways uh, yeah I'll go do the paperwork sort of seems like the rain's sort of picking up a little bit more here probably can't hear it but I can hear it but anyways, uh, give me a second, we'll go over, uh, go over the shop in a minute here after get this paperwork done. Okay, well she's raining now a little bit. That's good though, because I got all my, uh, stuff cleaned up So we're going to drill some holes in this bucket with our drill and use this, our sweet new uh, Milwaukee hammer drill guy here without the hammer action, of course. Hopefully I can get in there with that. I should be able to. She's a really long drill, eh? Like it's really lengthy long. Lengthy long. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to need some juice. Juice. Got juice here. Juice. Uh, yeah, so... Milwaukee drill. She's a pretty nice drill. I do like this one. Um, 
This I get from a place called Mississauga Hardware down in the city. Only well, because, you know, they know what they're doing. <laughs> With equipment and stuff, this is where I got my big hammer drill, the big Bosch hammer drill. That's a big rotary huge hammer drill. That's where I got that one from too, and all the bits. And uh, yeah, she worked good. So hopefully, I don't know how I'm gonna do this to be able to show you guys, because I'm gonna have to pretty much get right in front of you here to, uh, to do this. I'm just gonna take that depth gauge right out. Hopefully this is going to drill all right. I presume it will, but you know, I'm going to make sure we're not on hammer. Go to speed to me. Oh yeah. Okay. I got some safety deweys on my head. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take. I think this this thing right off. As well. There, that's better. Actually, no, I don't like these safety deweys when I'm doing this because they're too dark. I can't see in here what the heck I'm doing. So I'll we'll switch to some clears. That's more better. And hopefully this is going to drill here. Whoa, something's not right. Something's not right. As far as I know, I got her pinched right. Maybe that drill's good. We'll just try another one here. Why not? Got lots here anyway. May have to sharpen these a few times on the double drill docker there to get them to, to work right, but this feels like it's really hard drilling here. Could probably drill it from the other side too, but. <clears throat> What's going on here? That bit's wobbling too. What the crap? How's that even possible? Maybe I'll try going with one a little bigger. I don't think I've used that bit in this wobbling. That's weird. You know, by the looks of that, this one has never been used because the still got the coating all on the end and stuff, right? Going a little bigger though, but all right. Geez, maybe there's something wrong with this drill. Not. This one looks a little better. You don't realize how nice it is having the drill press because <laughs> you can just pull down pressure with this. You got to lean on her. I'm actually got the thing up too high. I'm, I'm too high right now. I need to be higher so I can push more down on it. But she went through. Well, that's good. Try the next one here. so we don't knock her off here. And I'm gonna do another one in the corner here, I think. To give her a little bit extra bite, you know?
Holy crap, that scared me. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Okay, now we got to try to do that one without pushing things off. I think I'm still good. But just a sec, I really got to grab a drink of water. Holy crap, I'm parged. Oh, that's better. Okay, so now this one here. I think it was every four inches I did it apart. Locked on on me. That's an awesome drill, though, let me tell you. Okay, we're gonna move this over here because I gotta go over here now and uh, try to get you in and zoomed in a little bit more here. There, that thing will stay there, or it'll be good. Full throttle, 3 8 inch thick stuff. Full throttle on the drill. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Last but not least, eh? Nice drill. That's actually well. Besides doing the hammer drill on that day on that for that shelf, that's the first time I've really actually used this thing. Okay, so now we got to switch to um, the larger bit. Hopefully, she'll drive that just as well. And that there should be our half inch right there. Just to hog them out to the size we need. Pardon me. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I'll zoom you out for the first couple of few here. Maybe to there or something that'll get us mostly. We'll get this guy installed in here. And I'm gonna keep forgetting my key thing is on my cord. wobbly too. I don't know what's going on. Okay, here we go. Half inch. Oh, I don't know about you guys. I need earplugs for that one. Hang on a sec. I'm going to squish in some, some earplugs. I'm kind of curious how this is going to break through here. If it's going to grab and snap the wrists off or what, but who knows. I got a freshly, well, I wouldn't say freshly, but it's uh, was drill doctored there a while back when I did the whole box of them. Ugh, so we're gonna switch switch bits here. It looks nicer, anyways. I don't know if it's gonna drill any better, but if it looks nice, hopefully it'll drill nice. The thing I found with a drill doctor is I don't know if it takes some of the hardening out of the bit too when you sharpen them, but. They don't seem to really last as long. Okay, let's try here. Maybe I'll go slower with this one. Nope, not hammer. I want to go slower. There. That seems just as fast. 
work. I need to, uh, before I go any further here, uh, hang on a sec. I gotta clean up these chips. Okay, I totally, I totally wanted to make the bottom bar first before I started drilling the big ones. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. So I get the bottom bar that we're going to weld the teeth to uh, locked in, you know, clamped on. I should be able to just run this drill bit down there and then puncture the top of the other stuff enough that I can drill it through. That should be all right. I guess I keep drilling. Uh, I just thought I would do it this way and might make it easier, but it's probably better to do it the other way. So here we go. Um, glasses back on. Ah, oh, crap. Took my juice to vacuum. There we go. Now we should have juiced. sharpen them on the drill doctor they work good for a few holes and then all of a sudden it starts to not work good. I don't know what's up with that but very weird. Very weird. Hopefully I got enough drill bit here to finish. faster though. Okay, last but not least, now we can drill press on the rest of them on the on the plate. Freaking hell, that hurt. Oh my goodness. That freaking caught me in the side of the head, twisted my hand all up. Out of all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven freaking bits. Oh my god, my eyes water and everything. Holy crap. Woo! Give me a little bit of a zapper there. One little freaking little piece of stuff holding it. Wow, that freaking hurt. I better have a look at myself here. She freaking clocked me right there. <laughs> well, I'm gonna probably be having a big nice bruise there. I better keep massaging it. Holy! Talk about rock your clock, eh? Stupid thing! Oh well, happens. 
it was doing pretty good and then all of a sudden it just caught one little freaking edge and no that was not breaking out oh lady twisting my arm my hand or sorry my wrist all up anyway so i'll suck all this crap out of here Okay, man, that friggin' really rocked my clock. Holy, I'm hurting. But anyways, uh, let's grab this hunk of stuff here we got yesterday. I got uh, some more of this four inch stuff here. Ah, for cornflakes. Need my hands back. So I got my bolts here, but I probably not actually well, maybe I'll try them, but I probably should put grade 5 bolts in. These are probably only 3s or whatever they are. A little light maybe for this, but... You know, like, this thing doesn't put out 10,000 pounds of curl power, right? So yeah, actually, it probably will be fine. Oh man, my freaking head now. Whoo, she's thumping. Took a good little wallop there. I was trying to let off, I think, on the end too. I'll have to watch the footage. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Okay, so... It's gonna need a resharpen um, that bit, so we've got to make this just a hair bit. We've got 25, so if we go roughly, two, let's put a quarter inch of each side, maybe. So we're looking at. 25 and 3 quarter, that's almost a bit long. I don't know whether I really need a whole lot of, you know, like out lip past the thing or not, but. Mm, so, the more I do, the heavier it's going to be, too, right? I'm trying to keep her as light as I possibly can, but uh, maybe we'll make her the same. It's nice and smooth, so maybe we'll make it all the same length there and everything. I'll just kind of mush together nice. Could make two plates, you know. If I really wanted to, make two plates and have one a little wider or whatever. One with less teeth, one with more teeth, whatever. But I think we'll go 25 and a quarter. I'll give us lots. 25 and a quarter, I'm going to just do another line, five and a quarter. Speed square. Okay, well, now let's get set up on the saw, and we'll cut a piece. All right, good old saw. Hopefully she'll cut again for us here. Close enough. Okay, good and tight. Whew. Might have to cut her short today, boys. I'm gonna maybe see if I can just get this other piece drilled. That might be it. My head is freaking just pounding now. Not a, not probably a good thing. Whew. Okay, so this four inch by three eighths stuff. Let's see if she cuts here. Freaking awesome, I must say. I do like that saw. As long as you got a good blade in her, she's good. It's good. You gotta have a good blade though. If your blade's getting dull, which I don't know, that one's not that old, but it's 
it's cotton, but it shouldn't be sparking that much. Uh, yeah, so anyways, okay, let's, uh, how are we gonna do this now? We gotta get this, whoa, sorry. Get this thing mounted. Oh, yeah, they just zoomed out a bit. Get her mounted so, uh, there's two inches sticking out the back and two inches out the back. So we need to measure down, I guess, first and draw a line. Two inch. Two inch. Two inch. Um, get mostly of this, I guess. What the frickin' crap? Two inch, two inch, two inch. Is this step wider? Two inch, two inch, two inch. Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll use my level here just as a straighty edge thingy to draw the line on with. As best as I can get it on here, I guess. Oh, look at that. It's almost perfect. Yeah, just resting it on the edge here and then bang on. That must be, this, these must be two inch, are they? Not quite. Two inch if you go from the inside to the outside. So there you go. Never knew that. Now I do. Two inch. Okay, so now I gotta somehow get this thing lined up here. Something like that. support the back with another piece to bring it level up on the piece here. Squeeze my shoulder for a sec. Okay. Something about right there. Okay, so now my game plan hopefully here is to, well, I gotta get power. And uh, hook this to that power. Let's see what you guys are looking at here. So what I'm going to try to do is just drill in real fast. Hopefully it follows kind of through. It just makes a hole. I'll use this as a starter. I think I bent that bit too. <laughs> when she hooked there. Hopefully that will work. Now I should probably mark this as side one and side one, side two and side two, just in case. Shouldn't be too hard to not screw that up. But. Okay, I think we can go back to the drill press and drill these ones out. Sweet. Okay, so I've got a little guy in here, so I need to start. I'll we'll find it's kind of center. Drill on my table. There. You probably get this bit driving faster here, but it's all right. I 
probably should get this going faster. It's funny because I think the top and bottom, or when you mill it, or pour it, or form it, or whatever they call it, when you build it, all this stuff, is harder than the center stuff. be a little bit harder because I can it takes a bit to punch through on like oh it takes a little bit to punch through it but then when you get to the center like heart and stuff bang it goes right through like no problem a little bit here snap and crack in and all of a sudden it gets really soft right now it goes through pretty darn quick I don't know maybe it's true maybe it's not uh, For a sec. Hopefully this one's enough left in there to drill. I think it probably should be all right. And of course we'll have to put our table down a little bit. are still pretty good there. Just double make sure this is tight. Thank <laughs> you. 
drop this in the garbage can. Sweet, there we go. Okay, so hopefully we didn't screw up. And, uh, you know, screw up. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this, Just keep them all in there. It's probably all gonna fall out. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to work. I'm going to have to get a couple of nuts so I can just hold those things in there while so I can just put them in and put them on the bench. Okay, let's try this again here. Ow. Okay. I think that's going to work. Now I don't know exactly what bolt I'll get for these because they're not really the counter sunk for like the plow head bolts or anything, 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 so I'll probably just use like a regular hexy style bolt, you know, that's all it needs. For as much as it's really going to do, you know, it's just uh, anything major. Ah, uh, crap, that's not even size. Okay, why do I have an extra bolt? And I totally did that wrong. But that's okay. I just want to mostly see if it's gonna just gonna fit. Hopefully it's gonna fit here. Side one and side two. Oh, yeah, I did that wrong. Wow. Too much wallop on the head, boys. Too much wallop. Too much wallop. wallop. Okay, I'm just going to zoom you back out. There, that's about it. It looks like she'll fit. They're all in there anyways. That's good. It's not long enough. Barely catch there. <laughs> so we need some that are just a little bit longer. short. No, I mean this. Hang on, I'll grab one more here. I think I got some more to do here. Yeah, that looks like she all fits. Uh, a little bit of a gap in there though. I don't really understand why. Probably be fine once I, you know, snug them off. Okay, let's pull this. 
how she'll sit now. She could sit up a little higher. Oh yeah, with the nuts and the bolts there, I guess it will. Well, that's maybe not too good. Oh. How can I counter sink? Oh. Well, um... I'd like to be able to get those countersunk plow bolts. Hang on a sec. Let me just grab one off of the cutting edge here. I'll show you. But I don't know if that's going to work or not. <clears throat> that's, you know, one of them there, right? It's got the flat head on them. That's too big, I think, for our holes. Yeah. I think those must be, uh, what size are those actually? I don't even know. These must be... Five eighths inch bolt, so they are a little bigger. Uh, see, I don't think I've got enough real material there to countersink it that much. Maybe the smaller ones would be a little bit less, but um, see, the only thing that's going to do is uh, when I'm curling, I'm going to curl with this edge, and then when you start scooping out. You're going to cut in with these and probably wreck these up pretty good, but eh, like I say, you know, as much as much as I'm going to use it, it's not like I'm digging my graves daily, daily, daily with this thing, so, you know, it's not really a grave digging machine, really, so um, those will probably be fine. I, I don't think they're going to... Grade 5 bolts should be pretty decent, I would think, for that, as far as I can see. There we go, that's, that's built anyway, so let me just grab a piece of this other stuff I got here. Um, hang on. Well, this is the stuff I'm actually going to make this, the teeth out of. That's uh, 3 8 by inch and a half wide stuff. So what will happen here is first part gets welded on to there, somewhere there, hopefully I don't weld it to there because then we're screwed and <laughs> we'll never get her off again. Um, weld around here and then just, bzz, bzz, you know, depends how long you want your tooth to be. Bring it out to here, you got to leave a bit of room for, I figured that out before. I'm trying to remember how I figured it out. Because you got to have enough room to for your bend which your bend takes up you know well your bend would take up you know the bend will be more like this so it'd be fairly tight ish but then it's going to sit like this right on the machine get it right away here it'll sit like ah uh, so hard to show you but it'll sit like that because it's got a sandwich on top of both of the, you know between this and this right so we did her all the other day in that video there the other day, but something kind of sort of like that will be your tooth sticking out. So we need to uh, there's an inch and a half there. And if we bring her out maybe four inch, start to bend at four inch. This is quite a Mickey Mouse way to do it. Inch and a half there, four inch at the bend, makes it out to be a nine inch piece. So that bent around, you know, roughly that's your piece, so that'll be our tooth. So nine inch, eh? Nine inch. Interesting. Now I also got to sort of figure out too. How many teeth we want on this? I'm almost kind of thinking one at each thing. You know, these ones, so you just an example, looks sort of like a tooth, will kind of be on a bit of an angle out, right? And these will stay straight on. Straight on, straight on, straight on. Little, ang little angle out, so it clears a bit of the side of your hole so your bucket doesn't get wedged in the hole. That's sort of the idea be beside that. Why they kind of put a tooth out the side a bit. Ah, uh, the swinger here. That'll come, uh, come out sort of here and then bend. Uh, 
I guess we can get all those cut today, maybe. Nine inch pieces. Should be enough. Maybe just to play it safe, I'll go 10 inch. 10 inch? Would that be too much? Let me remeasure. Let's remeasure here again. So if we come out inch and a half. Come out an inch and a half. Bend it around the four inch mark. Shoot, I need another tape. Hang on. Measuring dewy here might work. That leaves us, let's double check so we got this right. Inch and a half there. Bent at the four, inch and a half back. And that will give us approximately a three inch roughly tooth, depending how much I get her hammered out when she's ready. Really hot. Molten hot, I can kind of dink, 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 and smash it out a bit more too, right? So, so I think nine inch should be lots. Uh, measure nine, cut once. Half bender at the four. I'll go a little more. I'm gonna do ten just to play, play it safe, I guess. Ten, ten will be lots. Okay, so let's just clean up a few things here, and we'll cut some teeth blanks. Okay, so 10 inch, we're gonna give a little bit extra. protections, eye protections, ear protections especially, and eye protections especially. Only got one set. Oh, that's not good. We need to plug in the juice. Okay, here we go. Get her out of one bar. It's 
Good, I got two bars this length, so. You don't need two more. All right, so there we go, well on our way. Well on our way. That's my bad, so I'll, you know, get a little flare out. Something like that. I'll probably do it right on here too, you know, and I got a mark, I guess, that for, well, what would that be? Five inch now, because we need these ten. We gotta mark those. Um, these even these just add a pile of weight. This will be our, uh, what you might call it, bend line. Or we heat our bender around the other, the other way. Horseshoe it pretty much. Whoa, sorry. Something like that, roughly. And hopefully they all come out the same, or you know you'll be getting say one digging more than the other until it wears down to the other one. That's just going to happen. So, but yeah, there we go. That's uh, the general layout. So what I'll do is uh, get them lined up, you know, like that, and bzz, bzz, weld them on. Get them all welded on like that, square as I can, anyways. And. Uh, I have to take the torch after then and heat until it's red hot where you can bend it right around to touch the other side and then weld the other side on. They seem to work pretty good. Well that's about it for that project I guess for today. We'll get some weld maybe tomorrow or whatever. Uh, but today looks like it's going to have to be, uh, the rest of the day is going to be, uh, well the rest of the video is going to be cleaning out the saw day. Inside here there's a little tray. Doesn't look too bad, but it's all bunged up at the end here. So 
So we're gonna pull our little tray out and oh, there's even chunks. Well, she is pretty bunged up, I guess. There's all the little shavings here. I'll see if I can get you as a, a zoomed up shot of all the shavings. There. Look at all the little shavings, eh? It's pretty neat, isn't it? All the little, very razor sharp little pieces ripped off. I'm gonna see if I can get in closer. Hang on. That's probably about the best I can get you. Yep. Yeah. So that's kind of cool, eh? All the little shavelings, shaveling bits. You can see some of them look like they're getting kind of hot. I don't know, maybe I'm putting down too much pressure when I'm cutting or not enough, I don't know. Pretty sweet though. Anyways, those will go over here with the writer friends. Good. Empty. Now sometimes there's leftovers, shrapnel and stuff. There's still a bunch in here actually. There we go. Good. So, now we got a vacuum. <laughs> Get the vacuum out here. Sucks. No, it does actually. It's really good. Rigid vacuum from Home Depot. And that is it for the saw. She sawed. I guess that's gonna have to be about her today. I totally didn't freaking remember that our secretary was coming today, so I had to go over there with with her and go through all the paperwork and stuff too, so she, you know, understood everything with it and stuff, because sometimes I miss writing things on things and stuff, and it happens, you know, so. But anyways, um, so all that kind of killed the day. <laughs> it's now like, and I know what time it is now. It's five o'clock, right on. So, I guess I better get heading home, get this thing rendered up for you guys, because that takes a while, and uploaded takes a while, processing takes a while, you know, and hopefully she's up by like 10 o'clock tonight. So, hopefully it's 10 o'clock, and you guys started watching. So, anyways, uh, yeah, better head her out, just make sure everything's off here, compressor's off, should be good. That's off, woo! -hoo. And uh, we'll head her home. It's still sort of spittling out here, so we'll have to whoa, fall on the door. And uh, we'll say good day out here, I guess, in the garage here before we go. But anyways, uh, yeah, have a good night. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna try my try my best to get you a farm sim Saturday built for this uh, this Saturday. Uh, I haven't done anything with it yet, and this is Thursday already, so that's not sort of too good. But um, we'll uh, we'll do something. I know from last week there I still got a bunch of hay bales from that really sweet combine mod we found. That was really awesome, that, that mod. i definitely probably be using that again. Uh, so we gotta get rid of the bales somehow. I don't have a trailer, bale trailer or nothing, but um, we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll just have to fork them, each one of them over. Some of them's gonna take forever, but some of them I might also save for whenever we get cattle too, right? That's probably a good idea. So anyways, I better head her out. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you maybe tomorrow for doing some uh, 
teeth on that thing. And uh, yeah, but anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you tomorrow.